What's up, everyone? Mark Wilbiner, TigerFitness.com. 47 minutes into my hour of cardio. Last night, the guest posing. Y'all saw it. I just uploaded it. If you haven't, I'm going to link that bitch below. Anyway, check it out. Man, I thought I looked great. My legs were washed out because I even did an hour of cardio the morning before. Did cardio Wednesday. I mean, did cardio every day. Did um, legs on Wednesday. But man, my glutes were in from the side really well. Still have a little bit of sharpness come in from the back. That'll come in. But uh, back was absolutely disgustingly shredded. Uprising, Plattsburgh, New York. Those of you who didn't come here, missed one hell of a show. Went from literally like 3 to 7 o'clock. Um, the guest posing, you'll see. If you haven't seen it already, I think we brought it down. Good competition set. It's an amazing time. Um, can't say enough, man. Great show. I think it was entertaining. Glad, honored to have an opportunity to uh, guest pose there. Help bring people into the venue. Support this good, good cause. The Beekman Town Booster Club. Help their athletic program 100%. Ron and Dave make no money on this. I have PA Pros, Ron Parmenter, Dave LeClaire. Just like my show, November 9th, in Burlington, North Carolina, the ANBF Pro-Am. I'm making no money. I'm probably going to lose a lot of money to make sure that all the money goes to charity. And we do good. Bodybuilding, we're good people, man. We want to give back. Supporting shows like The Uprising, my show, Kent's show on May 11th in Brick, New Jersey, the ANBF Pro-Am up there. Not only do you have good prize money to the pros, but we're giving back to the community. That's what it's all about. Bodybuilding has a bad rap for some reason. We all know why. It's crooked. The NPC especially. Um, it's pay for play. Yeah, I said it. You guys are some crooked motherfuckers. I'll probably never win in the NPC because of that. But fuck them. I got to say it. That's why I'm you know, competing NABA this year. And the NPC. I hope there's some objectivity left with some of the crooked ass judges and some of the crooked ass promoters. There's good promoters out there. Kevin DeHaven. Um, the state of North Carolina is great. Mike does a, Valentino does a great job. Other states like Georgia, I've heard Michigan, California, you guys should be ashamed of yourself for turning our sport into what it is. Support shows like The Uprising, like Kent's show in Brick, New Jersey, like my show in Burlington, North Carolina. Shows that you know the competitors are going to get judged fairly. Look at the judging panel yesterday. IFPA Pro Paul Revilla, 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 whatever the hell. That tall motherfucker who looks good. That's a good looking motherfucker, man. If I was gay, shit, I'm straight, I'd have sex with Paul. Matt Liller, Muscle Mania Pro. Chadwick Austin, the president of OCB. Damon Gillis, IFPA Pro. Kent Beerley, he loves when I say this. The old time winningest natural pro. The man who trained with Eugene Sandow and Moses. It's an old motherfucker. I love you, Kent. Kent's my boy. He's the president of AMBF. I'm the vice president, so we work together. We rouse each other, and as you saw in the guest posing, I stuck my balls right in his face. Um, Jay Friend was there to help me out. Jay, thank you for tanning me and for being a good sport. He's the guy I put my ass right in his face and shook it. Shake it like a salt shaker. Okay? Jay's a good guy. Other, other guys on the judging panel. Doug Miller. The man I think is the greatest natural bodybuilder of all time. I really do. I respect that man. Also, Core Nutritionals. He's the owner. What a great product line. I'll tell you, I took his product before my pump up. And you got to try this stack I did. I'm serious, man. I was pumped to the point where it hurt to pump up. And as you'll see, I had some good energy too. Um, who else was on that judging panel? I believe that's it. If I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry. Anyway, we got to bed about one last night. Um, we went to Walmart. We're about to do something epic today. You guys don't even know what you're about to see. It's going to be absolutely hysterical. Um, Doug. Doug Miller. Core Nutritionals. We've hung out a couple times in passing at shows. I consider him one of my closest friends now. What an awesome guy. If you're going to support any company, Core Nutritionals, you're not only supporting a real bodybuilder who cares about what's in his product, takes his own product, but you're supporting one hell of a guy. I hereby validate everything Doug Miller does. I support it. What a great guy. 
You're gonna see us doing a lot with core nutritionals. I have spent the whole weekend with him and training legs with him today. I am, I respected him before, now I respect him on so many levels. Let's get into my ass, the guest posing. Guys, ah, man, I felt great. My legs again. When I take a week off of cardio before the show, they'll fill in, don't worry. But I thought they looked just fine for a guest posing. My back was in. You see ab veins on stage, which is hard to do under the lights. My tan was great. Jay did a great job, one coat of dream tan, slapping it in. Um, what I did backstage, um, all day John had me eating meals based on my body weight and type, comprised of things like chicken, sweet potato, rice cakes, and peanut butter. Okay, I'm not gonna go into the specifics of that because, well, it's for me. Okay, I went backstage about an hour before my guest pose, about 45 minutes. I started sipping on two scoops of Core Fury by Core Nutritionals. I took six Ronnie Coleman stacked NO. After about 10 minutes, I drank that. I ate half a Snickers bar. I nibbled on the rest of it until it was time to go on stage. I pumped up. My pump up consisted of push-ups against the wall, rows with 35 pound dumbbells, curls, and just posing. Not too much, I do it and then I rest five minutes. Do it, rest five. Tanned me up, one coat of dream tan, slapped it on, stood there, right before going on stage, Jay, Put a little bit of that hot stuff on for the sheen. A little bit of extra veinage. By then I was ready. Went out there. It's entertaining. And uh, you're not going to see me do that for my real show. But my voice is a little bit gone today. Because as you'll see when I was on stage, I was screaming at people. It was the greatest time. Afterwards, I was so worked up. I had to actually go backstage, sit down in my own little room, and catch my breath. I've never been that out of, out of breath. I mean, imagine doing hit cardio for seven minutes, throwing out free shits, people, and, hit, and then posing in between, running around, standing on chairs. It doesn't look like it, but that shit was hard. And you guys know, do these cardio confessions. I do a lot of fucking cardio. <clears throat> Train six to seven days a week. Ah, uh, I gotta say, John Otis Hollywood has brought me in the best shape of my life. My back is, is amazing right now. And I have nothing but gratitude and recommendations for him as a trainer and a coach. So backstage, Snickers. If you're wondering what I took, Snickers. My food throughout the day, which was, oh yeah, I forgot, egg whites, chicken breast, sweet potato, rice cakes. Um, we threw in some steak, um, a meal too, some voodoo, what it worked. Um, no diuretics. Water wasn't cut, but I usually forced down about three gallons a day for kidney health and because um, it just helps me by the time I drink all my spinach shakes, veggie shakes, my health shakes, I'm getting a lot of liquid in. So I just sipped all day. Of course I drank water during my cardio in the morning. I did train some shoulders and arms with Kent Beerley which will go up probably tomorrow, ah, probably Tuesday, give me a day. Monday I might not get anything up because I'm going to the airport. <clears throat> what a day. So, a couple things. Take home. Doug Miller's fucking awesome. Support Core Nutritionals. Honored to be a part of the guest pose, uh, the uh, judging panel yesterday. Honored to be a part of this show. My utmost thanks and gratitude to two of my best friends, Ron Parmenter and David LeClaire, for inviting me to be a part of this one more year. And next year will be bigger and better. We will all be here because this is our time of the year to hang out with our friends. I mean, Ron, thank you for letting me sleep in your bed. Him and his wife insisted. And they're sleeping in their kids' room right now. They have their kids at their in-laws. I feel so bad, but they got pissed off when I told them I won't do it. Just like when um, Ron got pissed off when I paid for all his shirts and I paid for dinner last night through that. I took everyone to dinner, like I said, who came, um, ate a wonderful meal. I, of course, packed my own chicken because um, it's still prep time. Doug Miller's taught me something, guys. One, it's okay to be a bro. Doug Miller's a bro. He's all about chicken and sweet potatoes and 
Broccoli, <clears throat> he's not a big fan of Pop-Tarts, not a big fan of IIFYM. And he's the best natural pro ever. Look at someone like Kurt Widener's the same way. Everybody here, guys, is a chicken and sweet potato, chicken and broccoli type guy. I know that's not the cool thing to be, but we're all healthy, we're all happy, and we all win some fucking shows. There's more than one way to skin a cat. If you want to fucking eat Pop-Tarts and get lean, go ahead. We're going to eat our shit, get lean, and get more micronutrients um, than Pee Wee Herman watches porn and masturbates in public. And Doug, Doug knows all about it. I saw some of Doug and me get some weird fucking emails. People wanting us to fart on them and shit. Ah, what a funny judging panel. We had such a good time. I get to spend another day with them today. I'm here most of the day tomorrow. Um, my daughter scored a goal in soccer yesterday. I heard on the friggin' uh, thing. I'm rambling because I'm in a state of elation. 57 minutes into cardio and I want to go for another 30. Feel great. I can't wait to train legs today. I'm motivated. This show gets me amped up. If you guys have a chance, come see my guest posing in Indiana at the Natural Indiana NPC show on April 13th in Indianapolis. I guarantee you it's going to be epic. And I'm coming up with a new guest posing routine right now. Um, wow, guys. What a fucking weekend. Stay tuned for more footage. Stay tuned for probably one of the funniest videos you're going to ever see in your life. And stay tuned and keep track. Subscribe. I'm linking below. Do me one favor today. Just one favor. I'm going to link up everybody I'm with today's YouTube channel. Paul Revelia. I'm going to link up Ron Parmeter. Please subscribe to their YouTube channel and check their stuff out. Ron's got some great stuff up there. All right. Paul's got some great stuff. Paul's also a prep coach. Go ahead and look into his services. Do me that favor. That's all I ask. I'm here for you every day. I just ask that you subscribe to their shit. Please do it. I told him I'd ask you. And I really don't want Paul getting mad. Because he'll kick my ass. He's like seven feet tall. With that reach, my little fucking arms, the fact that I'm lean, he punched me my fucking ribs once. I'm fucking dead. Shit will go right through my fucking liver and puncture it. Then everybody will say it's from a steroid overdose. My liver exploded. No, it's because that tall fucking IFPA pro punched me in my fucking ribs. Oh, man. So I'm going to finish cardio. You might go, wow. You peaked? Well, somewhat peaked. It wasn't a peak. I don't fucking peak. The last three times I peaked, I got my wife pregnant. But I'm, All right. Prep time. Finishing up cardio. I got a minute and a half left. Leg day. Why am I doing cardio the day after a guest posing? Well, fuck, man. It's not a fucking game. Yeah, check it out, yeah. 2013. Uh, listen, yeah. I would applaud you, but I don't bear arms. My thoughts to the scare guard across to the square off. Slither with snakes, let another letter in.